I just wanted to say a few words in support of Andrew Bridgen, who was bravely speaking out yesterday in the House of Commons against uh, vaccine injuries, or rather trying to give voice to the many hundreds of thousands of people who are vaccine injured. And what we saw was a Commons completely devoid of the elected representatives who are supposed to represent us, some even crossing the chamber to tell others that they really shouldn't be sitting there listening to this, whatever names we've been called, conspiracy theorist, uh, gammon, uh, far right, um, Covid denier, any of the labels or badges which we just wear now and accept because uh, the thing about conspiracy theorists is uh, they keep being proven right. But to Andrew, I think um, I just wanted him to realise the amazing support that he has out here. And whilst he is made to feel utterly alone, in a way that perhaps we haven't seen since sort of school playgrounds where the bullies isolate their victim. And I'm sure that trying to go to work in that place and being avoided or people moving seats like children. I mean, it's very pathetic. But the thing is, out here in the real world, he has masses of support. We are applauding him. Uh, more support than you can hear of or know. And the other thing is, uh, standing alone, and I have some experience of this, is as long as you are being to true, true to what you know and true to yourself and you know that you're speaking the truth, it doesn't really matter if others pretend that they hate you or you're made to feel alone. It is far better to stand alone with truth than it is to feel included by a den of vipers or a mob that have been paid up by Big Pharma and have one eye on funding and another eye on promotion. And I think in times where we so rarely see it, moral courage is a very encouraging thing for everyone on our side and that's the side that simply wants everyone to be okay. So to YouTube for taking Andrew's video down of him speaking honestly in the Commons. Shame on you. You are complicit in the silencing. And to Andrew Bridgen, on behalf of any of us uh, that you can't hear, I keep doing what you do because it gives others hope, it gives others strength, and it gives others inspiration to keep fighting the good fight.